So guys, we are out here in the Hunter Call of the Wild once again, and I just found a max weight black tail track. I'll pick it up uh, here in just a second, and you can see in the top right uh, that it is, when I pick it up, 95 kilograms. That is the absolute max uh, for black tail in the game, so there's potential, it's not a guarantee, uh, that he could be a 1,000 scoring diamond. The wind is really not all that good, though. You can see it's kind of blowing south. You see someone headed uh, southwest at the moment, and I can only hope he's going to stop at a zone so I can see him somewhat long range and have him still... Uh, but I do have the 243 with me. We're probably going to go for somewhat of a long shot. Uh, but we'll see if we can spot him down here by the water. Otherwise, it could be somewhat difficult. I don't think that's him. Or is it? Nah, that can't be him. But it's a good sign. If that guy's headed to a zone, our diamond could be headed to a zone somewhere in the same area. I'm kind of confused. That's a four. That's a four. And the doe is just determined to stand in my way. But I don't think that that one drinking there is a five. That's definitely not. Yeah. So. Oh, there's a three and two fours. But where is the one that I'm tracking? The wind has definitely gotten worse. Got another doe moving through up there. Uh, but I'm now on very fresh for the age of the track, so that is definitely not ideal. He's getting further away, uh, but with the wind as it is, I'm not really sure what I want to do right now. Uh, him heading straight south is really not good. Ideally, I need to catch him, uh, like, at a zone far away to get him maybe, like, 150 meters or 100, whatever I can get to, uh, with the bad wind. But if he's leaving this water here, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Wait, did he actually turn around over there? He still would have been downwind from me, so he could have spooked, but he might have actually been headed back to his zone. I'm going to go check uh, and see what this track looks like, because he could have turned around, and it's possible, uh, if that's the case, that he could have snuck right down the shoreline, because um, he still would have been downwind. He still would have smelled me, but I'm wondering if this is actually fresh over here. I think, yeah, there's even a zone where he was. So I probably spooked him out of here, and of course, doesn't it figure uh, that the level 5, it has to be a level 5, I would say, with this weight, uh, his drink zone is hidden here in the trees, and I would say this is where he was. I don't think he's here anymore, I'd say he's probably out of here by now, but that's just kind of rough luck that he was standing back here in the trees. I'm sure he's spooked, but I don't know, I don't see any run tracks here yet. Whoa! Whoa! Was that our buck? Or was that our buck? I don't... Hold on. That doesn't look like a five. That's a four. But my tracks have changed. That's definitely not the one I'm tracking. Uh, and that is also a four. And it's still not the tracks that I've been following, so... It's not one of those two. I don't know where this guy got to. This could be a little bit difficult. Did he actually sneak through here when I wasn't looking? Oh. There's some tines there. That didn't look like a five either. But I suppose it's possible. That would be much better with the wind. Uh, if one of these guys will stop, I'm just going to use the 420 grain arrows uh, and check my consecutive quick. So I'm going to zero for 50. Uh, and he is stopping there. And of course he's going to trot back at me. Where did the other one go? Alright. That'll be a decent uh, check of our consecutive harvest. Make sure we're good. Uh, on that, and then hopefully we can find this blacktail that we've been tracking. Apparently this is a stampede area. But, yeah, I don't know. Those antlers that we saw up here did not look like uh, a diamond, for at least to me. Um, but the one thing I am thinking, I was crouched very slowly and in cover over there, and the wind uh, was not terrible, but was not ideal. Uh, so it could be possible that he was hiding over there, and there's just bucks everywhere here. I don't think... Nah, that's not a five. He's not big enough. And that's obviously not a five. But man, this is a decent little spot. By the way, if you're uh, curious where we're at, and our consecutive's not good, so I actually uh, might hang out here and shoot a few more of those blacktail. We're here. Uh, is this Balmont Lake, I believe? I think so. Yeah, it is Balmont Lake. It just took a second... Uh, to come up. I don't really want to sit here. I want to get our diamond down. Uh, so I might just kind of shoot does along the way if we see them. I just need to figure out where he went. 
because uh, he's not leaving any droppings for the last bunch of tracks. I'm getting that uh, bit of a bug where it's just a track and then a, a zone. Uh, so I gotta know, I don't even know, like, this could be old tracks, but I'm, I'm thinking it's fresh. Oh, that would be our guy right there. Level 5, 85 meters away, uh, and the wind is just fine. And I'm thinking, uh, I can probably hide in one of these uh, trees. I'm completely hidden here. I just want to get a spot where I can crouch up and see completely. And if I do enough calling, I bet he will come our way. Generally, if you just do a bit of spam calling, like uh, just hitting the caller four or five times, they will come in. And that rack is absolutely massive. So fingers crossed that he's uh, 1,000. I know he's going to be high just because of that weight, but I'm really hoping he's going to make that 1,000 mark. That would be insane. So let's start calling. And we'll see how many calls it takes to get him coming our way. Definitely still drinking. Now, the thing is, they continue drinking uh, even if they do get attracted to the call. So I will have to call uh, pretty much until he stops and actually starts coming our way, which he is doing now. Look at that guy. I didn't even realize they have that extra time. Did my, like, 950s, uh, 951, I think, did he have that extra time coming off? Because uh, I don't remember seeing that. That guy is absolutely huge, and he has got my heart rate going, I can tell you that. Right now, I am starting to get a little bit nervous. <laughs> he is absolutely huge. I'm actually going to turn off uh, tracks quickly. Ooh, do I even have... Ah, I don't have my normal binoculars with me. I guess that's pointless then. I wanted to get a good screenshot of uh, him just through my normal binoculars, but I'm not going to be able uh, to do that because I don't have them with me. And what is he doing? Please don't, like, glitch out and fly away. But he is definitely the biggest black hill I've seen in this game. He is absolutely massive. Look at the main beams on that guy and the, just the spread that he's got. is It's just insane. He is a huge buck and he is 40 meters in closing. I want him to potentially be uh, broadside like that, but a little more in the open, of course. Uh, so we're not risking any kind of bad shot. If he just keeps walking uh, out there where he's headed... We've got the 243, 0 to 4, 75 meters. I think we should just go for that. And he is down. All right, we do need to uh, get our consec. Oh, boy. <laughs> that, that had my heart rate going. So uh, I think we need to get two animals before we pick him up. So I'm just going to leave a waypoint here. And then go take a couple of the black tail that are around here or find something uh, to get our consec up. And we do have a doe sitting right over here. And I should have waited because there was something else behind her. But she's down. I think that'll put us at 40%. Uh, and then we'll need one more animal. Uh, and then we can claim our big diamond blacktail. I'm pretty much certain he's going to be a diamond. It's just a matter uh, of where in the diamond area he falls. I guess it's possible that my consec could fall off. So there's always uh, that little bit of hesitation in picking up a diamond like... What if the worst little bug that could happen actually happens right now when I'm looking at this beast? But uh, fingers crossed, and now I have the server all to myself. So uh, pretty much if something uh, terrible could have happened with me not being able to pick up my harvest, we should be good. Uh, and Consec is now at 40%. So one more kill, and we will be set. I had some rabbits over here that I might be able to uh, get eyes on if nothing else. We've got a warning call from a buck up there. I can see his antlers, so maybe if we can somehow slide a shot... Uh, in there and get him. I have no idea if I got him. I should have. I used the 7mm just because uh, obviously at the moment I am not too concerned uh, about the total score of this guy. The one I'm concerned about uh, is what we pick up after this guy and he did drop there so once we get him we can go look and see if we got ourselves a diamond. Like I said I'm crossing my fingers that it'll be a thousand. Uh, 1,000 antlered species is very very difficult because even with that maximum weight, it's possible that he could have a lower trophy rating. Uh, and it does change a little bit. Sometimes you can get a little bit below the maximum weight and have uh, the max trophy rating. Sometimes you get the max weight uh, and below the max trophy rating. So it's possible. I've got my fingers crossed. We are at 80% consec. So when we pick up this one over here, we will be at 100%. So let's go do it. And I have turned off the track effects. I want to get a screenshot of the massive antler that that guy is sporting. That is absolutely huge, and he's almost got both antlers actually out of the ground. He's very close, but not quite. We'll just get a few quick screenshots of him 
uh, but I really want to see if we're going to see uh, the four digits come up. Let's get a screenshot of that big main beam here in the front, and I think that will work. So, moment of truth, let's see what we've got. 208 trophy rating is so close. 996 diamond. The absolute max trophy rating is 210, so I cannot complain about that. My second biggest diamond ever uh, with the 243 at just 39.5 meters, and it was like the second animal that I picked up a track from the entire hunt. Sometimes that's just the way it goes, but man, what an absolute beast of a buck. The antlers on this guy are just huge, and yeah, two, my first 200 plus buck actually, uh, my whitetail was 197, I believe, so that is really awesome. I'm so glad uh, that I got that guy's track. We've got a huge albino moose right here in front of us. He is a level 4, uh, and he just spooked, but I think if we just hide uh, here in the brush and start giving him some calls, he should come back because he spooked uh, from pretty far over there, but that just gave me a complete shock when I saw that massive white animal uh, running in front of me over there, so I think... Yeah, there he is right there. Actually, uh, we'll move up a little, a little further along the brush line, but look at that guy. Let's check the weight, because he's got pretty good antlers on him. He might even top uh, the 200 mark. He's pretty far away, so I think we can walk. I cannot even believe that I saw that. Uh, I've been wanting a albino male moose since I saw one uh, on the Hunter Call of the Wilds Twitter page forever ago. He's only 551 kilograms, so he's not uh, gigantic, but he's really, really nice. I just can't believe I finally got a albino male, male moose, and it's a big one. That's so cool seeing that on the disturbed vegetation as well, just that albino up there uh, just reminding me what I'm tracking. And he actually, he really, really trotted uh, for quite a long distance, so I expect him to be slowing down uh, somewhere up here. But he crossed the water and just kept on running, so I'm hoping eventually we'll catch up to him at like a feed zone or something. This guy has been a bit of a pain, and unfortunately seeing his rack, I don't think he's quite uh, where I thought he was. He's probably like mid-180s, probably at best. Uh, but check out those red eyes. I haven't gotten to see it really uh, on any of the bigger animals. And I, the, just the first time seeing it now is just actually quite shocking. But uh, he's not going to really be able to cross. Unless I can get him to go exactly here. Uh, he's not going to do it. And that's a somewhat decent angle for a heart shot. So we are zeroed uh, for 75 meters with the 7mm. And that is a dead albino moose. Which is really, really cool. Level 4 as well. Uh, and maybe I should check my consec if I can. I have no idea if I got that bear or not. Oh, I definitely didn't. Alright, um, I did shoot a moose earlier, a female, uh, and I don't remember where my consec was. I'm going to turn off tracks, though, uh, and pick this guy up. I'm just going to hope my track, or, uh, my consec's okay. It's not a diamond, so I'm not too worried about it, but we'll get a screenshot or two of this guy. That's somewhat decent, uh, that he landed right here by the water. Definitely cool, and I want to get an up-close picture... Uh, of his head with that really red eye. Like I said, that's the first time I've really noticed it uh, on the albinos in this game. It's quite cool. Try to get one more, maybe uh, just straight on like that. And let's pick him up and see what we got. 186 trophy rating, 881 heart and right lung shot with a 7mm. Not a bad albino moose and 2.5 kilometer tracking distance. He was not being very easy. He would just trot for so far, but finally got him down. That was really, really cool. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.